gonna smoke you're not gonna smoke you're really just gonna sit there and be sober the entire time really <laughs> Can you are you hearing this? Don't give in to a Virgo who is hinting. That is manipulation. Do not give in. Make that bitch drive herself. She can hike, she can take an Uber, she can take a bicycle, she can take a scooter. y'all welcome back to the channel i'm brooke if you're brand new here and if you're a current subscriber I'm so happy that you came back for another video because i act a little crazy in my last one just a little bit so for today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about how each and every zodiac sign would manipulate slash gaslight you into getting them to do what they want you to do every single sign has a manipulative side i know that a lot of people say that this sign or this sign can be more manipulative manipulative than the others but all of us have flaws and all of us can use our strengths to prey on someone else's weaknesses whether we want to admit that or not it's definitely something that everyone has the ability to do whether or not you act on it is totally up to you all of these traits um are like the worst of the worst and just because you are a scorpio or just because you're a cancer or sagittarius whatever doesn't mean that you act like this it doesn't mean that you'll ever act like this. I just feel like this is what each sign would be like in a situation where their personality was very toxic and just really like they behave very badly. All of the zodiac signs will be linked down in the description box below so that you can skip to your sign if you want. I won't take offense. So today we're gonna go from Pisces all the way to Aries. So we're going from the end of the Zodiac to the very beginning. So when a Pisces is being manipulative towards you, they will ignore you. Pisces don't like being ignored themselves. So it only makes sense that they would do that to you if they were trying to be manipulative um, or maybe trying to get an answer out of you that you didn't wanna give. They won't look at you, that they will play the victim until they can kinda get what they want. They won't speak to you until you give in and give them what they want so it's like a silent treatment kind of manipulation you might not even know that they're manipulating you because they're silent the entire time they don't say anything they just make you feel bad until you give them what they want an aquarius being manipulated man, an aquarius manipulating or gaslighting you say they messed up or something they hurt your feelings they stole from you they were late to something important they would say sorry over and over again and promise that they wouldn't do the same thing to you again and then they would just do it again because they're promising something that they don't intend on standing by they're making you a promise that they're not going to keep aquarius will make you feel like they are with it they're like like they aquarius is the boyfriend that is a gangbanger and you tell all your friends no nah, like he's growing up he's maturing girl i promise he won't cheat on me no more so proud of him he's this he's that he got me roses the other day he ain't cheating on me and then he does the same thing again. That is a form of manipulation and that is how I feel that an Aquarius would manipulate you to stay with them, to stay their friend, to give them what they want by just acting like, nah, I'm good now. Like I, I was, I, I'll give you that. I was messed up. I was messed up and rude. I was wrong for a second. I, I'm good. I'm, I've got you now. I, ain't nobody ever had your back like I had your back, baby. A Capricorn manipulating you would make you feel dumb. It would literally make you question your judgment to the point where you're like, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. They're right and I'm wrong and I'm just gonna let them win this argument because I shouldn't have even made it an argument in the first place. They will pull out numbers and facts and statistics and they'll just like really try to spin things so that you look big dumb and they look big smart that is exactly what they're gonna do capricorns are very sure of themselves i feel and they will make you feel like very sure of them as well because they're smart and they know everything <sighs> sagittarius sagittarius y'all mm. a sagittarius manipulating you will bring up things you've done in the past to make you feel bad if they hurt you they will turn around and be like yeah, I called you a bitch, but do you not remember that one time that you said that my red shoes were ugly and made me look fat? Or, yeah, I cheated on you, I'm sorry, okay? But like, don't you remember that one time that you decided to go to Denny's instead of IHOP and you didn't even ask me what I wanted? Like, they will seriously pull 
some out of the blue shit that you did in the past. It may or may not be like good leverage, but they're gonna wanna take the spotlight off of themselves. And I feel like that is the number one biggest red flag in any kind of relationship, Sagittarius or not. If someone is really gaslighting you to the point where they can't even, like they just deflect. That is what that is. They're manipulating you and deflecting the situation off of themselves. They're trying to get the spotlight off of them so that you just feel like a jerk and you feel like you need to say sorry for whatever is going on. They're not gonna say sorry. They're not gonna say sorry. Don't expect an apology. You're not gonna get one. Scorpio. Scorpios are master manipulators. If they don't get what they want, they give you a choice. Stop talking to that boy or we're breaking up. Or they say, you don't start doing this more, then I'm gonna have to do this you pick. They make you think that ultimately you are controlling their behavior when it's honestly the other way around. They are controlling your behavior by making you feel like whatever decision you make, you're controlling the outcome. It's your choice if you want them to leave you. It's your choice if X, Y, Z, whatever. They literally just give choices and ultimatums and you know, pick this path or that one. If you pick the wrong one, this is what I'm gonna do, deal with it. You know, anybody can threaten, anybody can say they're gonna do X, Y, and Z if you don't do A, B, and C, but I just really feel like Scorpio's got that vengeful fire in them a little bit. They will make threats. They will make threats. If you don't do what they say, they will take something away from you or attempt to take something away from you. A Libra manipulating you will act like they're a baby. They'll act really like helpless, like they can't do anything without you, so you gotta do it for them. A Libra is the type of person to act like they can't wash dishes very well so that you'll get mad at them and be like, oh, just let me do it myself. Like that's what kind of <laughs> manipulative bullshit a Libra would pull. Pretending they can't do things or pretending that um, if you don't do it for them, like it'll never get done or whatever just because they want to be lazy and that is their, that's, that's just my experience with Libras. Just, sorry. Virgos, manipulative behavior. <sighs> Virgos will drop hints a little bit. They'll try to make you think that, um, whatever they want is what you want because they'll drop hints and until you like they'll have you say out loud what it is that they want like they'll just be like oh god i wish i had gas in my car god i wish that i had gas in my car so that we could go to this concert until you say oh dude it's fine like i have gas like i'll drive us like it's totally fine like that's what they want you to say don't give in to a virgo who is hinting that is manipulation do not give in make that bitch drive herself she can hike she can take an uber she can take a bicycle she can take a scooter don't give in to that kind of manipulation from a virgo don't do it don't Leo's manipulative behavior <laughs> I feel like they can be kind of natural aggressors. And if my best friend Kayla is watching this, she's gonna be like, nah, -uh. like a lot of Leos can be natural aggressors and they'll just straight up raise their voice with you. They'll get loud with you. They'll be like, what do you mean you don't wanna go to this concert? It's literally gonna be great. Like, I don't get why you don't wanna go to this concert. You're missing out. Why wouldn't you wanna go? You are like, what in the world? What do you, like they'll intimidate, that's an intimidation tactic as well. Like that is manipulation and intimidation just by raising their voice and being very verbal and aggressive with you and just being like, you are ridiculous for not wanting to do what I wanna do. Live with that, live with it. It is your fault, not mine, that you wanna act like this and you don't wanna go and see this person live in concert. Fine, I'll go by myself. I can have fun by myself because I'm great and I'm a Leo. Cancer, my sign. When a cancer is being manipulative, I feel like we make people feel really, really guilty. And I feel like <laughs> it's a pretty toxic trait. If a cancer's trying to manipulate you to say sorry or something, they'll mope around, around you or just act sad around you or give you the cold shoulder and make it like so obvious that they don't want anything to do with you until you admit that you were wrong and that they were right and that's that. Like, we just turn into ridiculous, annoying little babies. That is how we get our way. Geminis, when they manipulate, they're just plain old liars. Geminis will just lie up and down. That is their manipulation tactic. They'll tell you whatever it is that they think you wanna hear to get you to do what they want you to do. A Gemini would be like, oh my God, I love that store. I love that store. Let's go there. Let, you wanna go to that, girl. I love that store. Let's like, we should head there and like, oh, while we're on the way there, can we totally stop by David's house? 
Yeah, like I, I haven't seen him in like forever. Like I left something at his house. Can we just like get it? I'm so glad we're going to that store though. Yeah, yeah. I'm really like, I'm so glad that you like what I like. Yes. I totally fucking hate that store. I just really needed to see David. I haven't gotten dick in like five months. Five months. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tor is being manipulative will play the victim, act like you're the bad guy, they will turn every situation around on you, pity me. Like a Taurus is like a mix of a Cancer and a Pisces when it comes to manipulation because they they want to make, they act like boo-boo the fool. They really act out here like boo-boo the damn fool. They will make you feel like you're the worst person in the world for not agreeing with them or taking them where they want to go or dating them or whatever. I know some Taurus is gonna be in the bottom being like, I've never played the victim in my life. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. We all have, but yes, you have. And an Aries, the very last one. An Aries, when they're manipulating you, will make you feel like you're missing out if you don't do what they want. If you don't do what an Aries wants, they'll peer pressure you into doing it. What do you mean you're not gonna smoke? You're not gonna smoke? You're not, you're really just gonna sit there and be sober the entire time, really. <laughs> Can you? Are you hearing this? All of us are smoking, all of us are smoke, all of us are drinking. Like, you're just gonna, you're gonna be so bored. What are you gonna do, sit? You're just gonna sit over there and be sober? What are you, are you kidding me? Like, they will do whatever they have to to make you feel like their opinion is correct and yours is wrong and why am I dancing? They'll do whatever they have to to make you feel like they are right and you are wrong and if you are, you're not doing whatever they want, then you're just no fun. You're just plain boring and it's your loss, it's your loss. Like, that is an Aries through and through with manipulation. All right, y'all, so that is all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Comment what your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.